Remember guys, you don't have to be a bounty hunter to afford great graded figures here at Dallas Vintage Toys. Go buy toys at Dallas Vintage Toys! Yeah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just get really into it. Yeah, I'm gonna spend all my money on myself because I don't have children. That child support is mine. Freedom, freedom. What's going on, everybody? Rowdy and Tommy here in front of Castle Grayskull, showing off some of the fantastic fun we got in the graded room. Absolutely, we're gonna check out all the stuff in the graded room, check out some of the vintage toys that some people don't realize. Everything in this room is for sale. And Absolutely. It's, and it's free to check out too. So let's go check it out for free right now. Come on with us guys. Something that I love about the graded room is when you come in, it's like stepping into a completely different time zone and a different era. When you're looking around here guys, you're gonna see a lot of cool vintage artifacts sealed in acrylic and ready for you to get in your collection. Isn't that right, Tommy? Absolutely, so a lot of these items we have sent off to get graded. Sometimes they come into us graded and then we always get asked, what does grading mean? It's where it's sent off to a company that's usually reputable, that uh, they go ahead and they grade the figure based off of the board of the card, the plastic quality, and the figure itself and give it a full grading if it's still sealed. But sometimes we get some stuff that's graded that's not sealed, so depending on how the figure comes in, but all of these have been professionally graded and cataloged. Absolutely, guys, and what's really cool about a lot of these things is when you're looking at the graded figures, let's just take a look at the case here. When you're looking at like some of these graded figures, you're knowing that these things are absolutely sealed in acrylic, and they're gonna stay like that until you open those boxes, but you're not gonna wanna open those boxes because they're worth way more inside the boxes. Isn't that right, Tom? Absolutely, and guys, a lot of these, you might not even know the grading. You'll look at the box and you go, that looks better than I saw it on the shelf. But you can always check the grading just to see how much better it is compared to the ones you always saw on the shelf. But most of the stuff we have, you probably won't even notice unless you're really paying attention to those numbers because everything that we get tends to be pretty minty and pretty fresh when it comes in. And grading goes beyond just carded back figures. For a while, you could get loose figures graded as long as you had those accessories in there with them. And we have a great collection of Star Wars loose graded figures in the store. There's a lot of people who come and check this case out. First thing when they walk into Castle Grayskull, it is awesome to check out. And I just love all the little characters in there, don't you, Tommy? Absolutely, and moving right on to, this is uh, one of the staff fan favorites of the figures here. So we have a whole collection of vintage Star Wars figures right there that we are selling as a set. That is definitely one of the boss's favorite lines right there with those vintage Star Wars there. We have a vintage Optimus Prime up there. You always know that's one of my favorite up there. The uh, graded Vlix is in the case. That is a very rare figure from the Star Wars Droids animated series. There's a vinyl cape Jawa next to that thing on card and loose. There's the Earthbound for video games and you. That's one of Rowdy's favorite in there. Absolutely, I'm always looking at that Earthbound copy. Uh, we had three, now we're down to one. It is it is the last one, last of the Mohicans, guys. So, so definitely is, come in and check that out. Absolutely, so every time people are like, what are some of your favorite stuff in the store? This is a staff case. This is just kind of a random bunch of assortment of stuff that we really like here at the and, store. And as far as staff picks, I just can't fit them all in that case. So we just <laughs> gave them their own case, it's the Hasbro Bro, WWF figures. I know we're not allowed to say WWF anymore. It's WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Thank you, World Wildlife Fund. But um, in here, you have a lot of awesome figures that I would love to have in my collection on card. I had a lot of these loose as a kid because I definitely played with my Hasbro figures and the ring. Um, and down here, down at the bottom, you have the Talking Ultimate Warrior. So if you need the ultimate warrior to scream at you and get you motivated, uh, that's the toy to have, but he's not doing very much talking inside of that acrylic case there. Much like my walkie-talkie, you could always get them to talk, but you could never get them to walk. But uh, guys, we're looking at everything in the graded room and you'll never know what you find until you just come in and walk around. You see some awesome Battlestar Galactica figures up here, some graded GoBots, some graded Strawberry Shortcake. But we have the Doom figures just right in time for uh, part two to come out. Absolutely. I can't wait to see that. Zendaya does some good work. Um, and the Toxic Crusaders. I got a lot of questions about them down below uh, just earlier this week. So Toxic Crusaders are here 
at Dallas Vintage Toys, and you can get them on the website. DallasVintageToys.com has all your pricing on everything in the graded room. That's your secret tip for today, guys. So we're still looking around. Tommy, what did yeah. you have in here that's near and dear to your heart? So we definitely have some of the Migos here from this Migo Superman, it's Batman, Shazam. My mother had the whole collection. I played with them as a kid. I absolutely destroyed those toys. She hates me for it now. But man, did I not love playing with all of those Migos. Tommy's not kidding. She brought that up the last time she was in the store and we all had a pretty good laugh until she was just like, no, seriously, he ripped the head off my thousand dollar Migos. <laughs> um, but next they, to that- They weren't a thousand dollars at the time. At the time, I'm gonna give you that. I'll give you that. But next to that is a case that's absolutely full of stuff for me, and that's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would have never thought about keeping them on the card, let alone putting them in an acrylic case when I was a kid, because when you handed me those toys, I ripped them right open and went to have fun with them. I still do that as an adult. <laughs> so if you are a figure hunter and you're collecting figures on card and you feel like, man, I wanna step it up a notch, graded figures is the next evolution for you. Isn't that right, Tommy? Absolutely. And much like Rowdy said, if you're watching this video, whether you're watching it right when it's gone up, two weeks from now, if you check out DallasVintageToys.com, it'll show you all the ones that we still currently have in stock, all the new ones we listed, along with their prices, so it keeps you up to date. So if you're watching this and you're like, I need to know that item, Star Wars character right there, Squid Head there, and you're like, I need to know that one right now, go to DallasVintageToys.com, you can put it in the search bar, or if you just wanna see all the newest stuff we have in stock, just hit search, go, or, uh, just hit go on the search bar. Sorry, tripping over my tongue there. It happens. And it will show you all the newest stuff that we have listed. And as we're looking at the Star Wars figures, I'd like to say you don't have to be a bounty hunter to afford some of these awesome graded figures. You can still put a lot of this stuff on layaway. So come in today to Dallas Vintage Toys and we will set you up with a layaway plan for one of those graded figures. Isn't that right, Tommy? Absolutely. And so guys, now that you've seen a little bit of inside this room, don't be afraid to come in and visit it in person. We always have people ask if they can come in. Absolutely. How else are you yep. going to see the toys? How else are you going to find all the fun stuff we got in here or see everything that we have in the store if you can't just walk through the walls of Castle Grayskull? But um, this is something you're definitely going to want to check out. A lot of people come in here asking me about graded figures or what's the most expensive thing you have in the store or what's the highest grade thing you have in the store. I always send them into this room. And it changes all the time. So it's always worth checking over and over. We have people who come in all the time from out of state, out of country. They always check out the new stuff coming in room. So it just goes to show why you have to check us out at DallasVintageToys.com and in person at the store to come check out me and Rowdy and all the fun stuff going on here. Or check us out on social media. Hit us up on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all of the places you can find us. Uh, and remember guys, till then, We'll see you here at Dallas Vintage Toys.